Next, we discuss about coefficients alpha 2, which represent the effects of concrete cover. Again, there are two main types of anchorage, which are the straight bar and the hook or band anchorage. The equations to compute alpha 2 for the straight bar and the hook and band bar are given here. The main difference between the two equations is the 3 times the bar diameter. In these equations, CD is required. CD can be determined from figure 8.3 given in Eurocode 2 as discussed in the previous videos. The alpha 2 is anxious to be within the range of 0 0.7 to 1.0. In fact, all the coefficients alpha 1 to alpha 5 are to be within the range of 0 0.7 to 1.0. The coefficients is not to be less than 0 0.7 and not to be greater than 1.0. Alpha 3 to alpha 5 refers to the influence factors due to different kind of confinement conditions. The coefficients can be in the form of a constant number of 0 0.7 or in the factors of k lambda and rho. The factor k represents the effect of the transverse reinforcement. The as here represents the area of a single anchored bar with a maximum bar diameter. The ast here represents the cross-sectional area of the transverse reinforcement bar for the design anchorage bar. Under different forms of the transverse reinforcement, the K value varies. The lambda value is obtained based on these equations, which is also quantifying the area of the transverse reinforcement and the area of the reinforcement bar to be anchorage. As for the row, it represents the transverse pressure at the ultimate limit state along the anchorage length. Observing the conditions of the anchorage bar and refers to table 8.2, the coefficients alpha 1 to alpha 5 are determined. These coefficients are to be substituted into the equation here in order to determine the design anchorage length of a reinforcing steel. With that, we need to provide an anchorage length which is longer than the design anchorage length calculated here. Also, it is noted that the multiplications between the alpha 2, alpha 3 and alpha 5 must be at least equal to 0 0.7. The calculation step here seems to be quite complicated and tedious. For simplicity, the typical conditions can be applied. Under the typical conditions, where the reinforcing steel are anchorage in the straight conditions and the bar diameter is less than 32 mm and the concrete grade is equals to 30 the LBRD here is determined by 52 diameters and 36 diameter of steel bar the 52 times the bar diameter represent the conditions of wall bone and 36 times the bar diameter represent the conditions of good bone.